this lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to install NetBeans, which is an integrated development environment for use in developing both PHP and Ruby and Ruby on Rails type programs. So first we need to go and get the latest version of NetBeans, which is found on netbeans.org. And uh, currently that version is IDE version 6.8. So if you click on the download for free, and remember this is shareware, this is all written in Java, works on multiple platforms, works on uh, Linux variants as well as the Macintosh and the Windows platforms. Now there are various ways of downloading the IDE basically based on what type of environment you're going to be programming in. You can see all of the Java variants as well, but they also have Ruby, C, C++, PHP, or all. I recommend that you download the Ruby version, and then we can install the PHP plugins that are necessary uh, once we've started up the program on our own computer. So go ahead and download the Ruby version, and it should download automatically. Once that's downloaded, we will run it and install it onto our own computer. Once it has completed, it's just like installing any other application. You might notice this error message, which means that you don't have Java installed on your computer. So this tells you where to go get the Java language, which is also a free component required for the NetBeans to run. So we'll go to this address and download that as well. So here we are at the Java Sun uh, website where we can download the the various components needed to run Java applications on our computer. And that you can see as you scroll down, there are a lot of different options. The version that I recommend is the runtime environment, unless you're going to be developing Java, which is not the case in, uh, in this lesson. So let's go ahead and download the JRE6 update. And this version would likely change often but let's go ahead and download this. You can select the platform that you're going to be running on. In this case, I'm going to uh, be running a Windows version. Agree to the license. And it's optional to uh, create an account on the system, and I don't need to do that. And there are two different ways of installing it. An online installer, which is smaller initially, but will then download the rest of the components through its own application, or the full installer here. I'm going to go ahead and do the optional online installation. And go ahead and install it just like a normal application. It's going to allow me to install this now directly from the internet it's going to go find uh, everything that it needs and install it on my computer after a few seconds it should continue the process I'll show you some ads for the open office which is also another good uh, application to install. It's an open source version of the Microsoft Suite that allows you to write Word documents and Excel type spreadsheets and it will even read and write in those formats. Now speeding up time, uh, it finally finishes the uh, installation of the Java component and now we can go back and continue to install the uh, NetBeans. If you ins if you downloaded it uh, to your desktop instead of running it, then you can just rerun that as well. Uh, but 
I did not, so we're going to start it over again. As we continue the installation, I think it will finally install now that we have Java in place. Continue through the various options just like a normal application. Agree to their many terms. Make sure you read all of them. Uh, mostly you can install just the defaults that are uh, given to you. Okay, it has finally finished installing and you can check these boxes as you wish. I'm not going to register or contribute the data. Uh, it's fairly harmless. They're trying to improve their product so they, they track usage information on how you utilize the NetBeans. So let's go ahead and finish the installation and we should now be able to go to where it installed the new software, NetBeans, NetBeans IDE 6.8 and go ahead and launch that. Once NetBeans starts you can go to the the file menu and say new project just to see what types of projects are available and since we downloaded the Ruby version of NetBeans it allows us to create a Ruby application or a Rails application. So that shows us also that PHP is not installed. So that's it for getting NetBeans installed. Have fun!